Talos Magic Talk Show brought to you by Talos Master G C Food and Team Yet Dragon Talosum. Puriang Tenjon. Hi everyone, welcome back to the show. <laughs> This is your G C Food right here, and today we're going to get into a topic that is kind of related to the New Year stuff, but. Not really, just about New Year. It's about um, something that <laughs> our disciples uh, need to know, and it's very important, which is the Jade Emperor. Uh, in some of the use in our lang- in our dialect, we call Yo Huang Dai Di. Okay, so this Jade Emperor, uh, what is so special about him, and why do you need to know? First of all, why am I talking about him? Is because One of the Chinese New Year, uh, like day, uh, is his anniversary. Right, the lunar uh, January 9th. We call that the anniversary of this Jade Emperor. And you got to understand that first of all, every sect of Taoism um, has their own system and their own thing. Right, it's like companies. Everyone. Uh, every different companies have their own way of doing things, and it's not the same. Okay, so there could be, you know, one lineage saying that, oh, our Jade Empire is like that, and well, it's not the same as the one we talk about here. It's not about who is the right one; it's about we have different ones. Okay, so it's like Jade Empire is more like a title, right? Like father, mother. You know, it's like a title. So your father, my father, not the same person, right? I'm just explaining to my disciples about how it works here. Now, however, it works out there. That's another thing. There's also one version out there that is a um, <clears throat> like a cultural belief, which is like you know people just believe a story. And that's basically it. So more like that's how it is in the movies, you know, like the movies is like that, and they believe that that way. Right? But does it actually work or have anything to do with you? Well, I have to say that just, you know, you're kind of like believing Superman or Batman, and doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> But it matters in our lineage. Why is that so important? Well, okay, let's cut it short. The Jade Empire is like, is like the CEO of the of the Celestial Court. You know, he's like the biggest boss in the Celestial Court, who controls the whole system, and um, basically he's like the boss. You know, running the whole system up there, uh, upkeeping the system. So we, uh, the Talus, who are in the lineage, if we are like in a higher level. Not like okay, right now you ordain and become a disciple. You're not at that level, okay? You need to be in a higher level in the lineage um, where you are starting to work for the God, work for the lineage, right? Then this really matters to you, okay? One concept that you will not know is that we have this concept of civil versus civic, okay? Um, civil is like You are a civilian, okay, and the lineage is like a country, so the lineage is going to take care of you because you're a civilian, right? So you live inside the lineage. The lineage, the god, the celestial court is like the government. They will supply you with anything you need and protect you and so on. And well, of course, in return, you as a civilian will contribute to the lineage to support. The country, you know, like you pay tax, right? <laughs> And you will put your faith in the country, okay? So, like, you believe the government, the government will take care of you, okay? That's basically how it is. When you first ordain as a newbie disciple, you are a civilian. You have a talus name. You become a civilian in the lineage, and the lineage is like the government taking care of you. Now, however, once you get to a certain stage and mature, you become like in this stage where, like, you have to agree too. Okay, you go up a step, and you become in this like what we call the civic side, which means you have a job. 
Okay, it's like you got a government job now. You work for the government, so every day you will be working for the god, for the celestial court, you know, for the lineage. And it's not like you work as in like you actually got a job here, you know, at at this company kind of thing. It's not like that kind of work. Okay, the work is like you're working for the god system. Okay, so what do you do for the god system? Well, think about it. You like um. The lineage is like a country, okay. So, what does the country needs to do? Well, when you were a civilian, what did the country do to you? Take care of you, right? <laughs> so, once you become like a, a a worker for the court, then your job is to do what you have to do to give the care for the lowers, for the one who are below you, those newbies. Right, those who are like on the bottom level, you are supposed to take care of them. You see, and also you see, we have like a, a country, right? The country need people to live in it, right? So you will also be like, you know, trying to expand uh, the country, trying to get more people into the lineage to grow that country. Very, very makes sense. Okay, the lineage is like the country. Right, you want to grow the country, and you also need to take care of the people in the country. Now, of course, if there are like uh, people attacking the country, you also need to be able to fight for the country, right? So, you know, when things happen, like people attack, you have to defend and fight with the country, and that's what the people do in the higher level. Most of the time, you gotta learn, train, and so on to prepare yourself to handle situation. For example, like newbies come in, you need to be able to handle their situation, right? Like, you know, you see these newbies, they have problems, they have uh, maybe like a spiritual attack or something. Well, you need to be able to help them, right? You can't just like, oh, I'm just like learning. No, you cannot. You you have to help them, right? So how can you help them if you don't learn, right? So yeah, as a as an upper, it's your obligation to learn and cultivate. Or else you're like being a useless worker up there, you know, just grabbing the salary and not doing your job. So yeah, you know, the higher you go, the more responsibility you have because that's how it is. And well, if you're not ready to go up, no one forcing you, right? But the thing is, like, yeah, you know, you get ordained, you can be a civilian for the rest of your life. But why would you want to go higher then? Well, I'm kind of going off track already, but. That's another thing. <laughs> uh, okay, short answer. Okay, if you go higher up, right? You're like working for the God. You're building up your credit. It results in like after you are dead, okay? The court will also take care of you, and you have a much greater chance of moving on to what we call, you know, the talus heaven, right? So you have a much better life afterward, and that is what you're working for. Now. Talking about the Jade Empire, right? Normal people, why would you need to pray to him? Normal people. Well, Jade Empire is like the boss of that uh, celestial court, right? The whole system up there. Okay, so let's do a, a metaphor, okay? Uh, well, in the modern days, we know more about companies. So let's say uh, company, okay? <clears throat> Why would you want to let your voice be heard by the boss of that company? For example, let's say you know Apple, right? The the iPhone, you know, Apple. Okay, so we want the boss of Apple to know uh, about something. Um, we hope, um, we hope our our future can like have a a phone that can be worn on the wrist like a smartwatch. Okay, that's what you're wishing for, right? Now because the boss heard it. Later on, the boss like, mm, okay, I will get my people to work on that. I think that's a great idea. And then eventually, he will lead his people to discover this thing. And then, well, sooner or later, you see that product, right? Same thing with the the Jade Emperor. If you have anything you wish the the Tao, the gods, right, will have for you or the public later, you can make your wish. What do you wish to see in the future? Right? Oh, um, for example, right? Like right now, maybe uh, let's say, oh, the lineage don't have um, uh, a specific magic for this this kind of situation. I hope we can have that. 
Okay, then, well, later on, the Jade Empire might take into consideration, and then we, the workers, will get the message, and eventually we'll have that stuff ready for you, right? You know, like that. So, yeah, for normal people, it's really not that big of a deal to talk to the Jade Empire, but you can, you know, what you wish to see in the future from the gods, from the lineage, then that will be something you can do, like, talk about uh, with the Jade Empire. Now, for the people in the lineage, this is more important. If you are a Taoist, right, you're a newbie, what, like, what does this have to do to you? How important it is to talk to the Jade Empire? Okay, the Jade Empire is like the, the boss of the Celestial Court, and the Celestial Court is kind of like, you know, imagine they're like a business, right? <laughs> and, well, if you are not being one of the worker while you're alive, when you're dead, right, you might be working there until you're ready to go to the whatever we call the Talus Heaven, right? So you may be working there. <laughs> so you see, if you want to be like taken care of when you're there, you better build a good relationship, right? So that's why you want to talk to the Jade Empire. Um, sometimes if we have like, uh, for example, you have maybe your wife, your your whoever ancestor died and they got a funeral done with the lineage right they might be working in the celestial court so yeah you will you might want to like you know get a better relationship with the jade empire so they will take care of your relatives up there that's one reason and well <clears throat> another thing is um you think about it this way okay they're like government uh government system right so, well, right now, you might not be able to go there and work. Like, you not, you might not be going up a level to be working for them yet. Then you might be, like, you know, making a wish, saying, I hope one day or sooner or later, I'll be able to get to that stage and work for the court. That will be something good to wish for because that's one of the goals, the very healthy to have, okay? So that, that's why you would want to talk to him. Okay, uh, on the special day. <clears throat> now, if you are a senior in the lineage, this matters a lot with you. Why? Well, the Jade Empire, okay, is like your boss, right? And, well, think about yourself. How much have you been learning, progressing uh, this year? How much have you been working this year? Well, a lot of seniors might not be really working uh, that much. Like, have you been taking care of the lowers, the newbies, you know? Are you doing your job? Maybe not so well, right? Well, then you might want to uh, talk to him, like tell the Jade Empire that you wish to have guidance to be able to do better this year. And so you're not going to be like, you know, dragging on like a useless worker in the court. Ah, so at least, you know, at least your boss know that you knew you are not doing good, right? At least you knew that. Then they will give you some uh, guidance, you know, some teachings and let you like correct yourself. At least you have a chance, right? There's like a lot of disciples um, who went to the higher stage and they will fail. Why? Because it's not that easy, you know? Like once you get to the higher level, you need to commit to the lowers you need to like take care of the lowers and a lot of people get used to the thing like well i'm just learning for myself i'm just doing this for myself and well you don't care about the lowers like like you have to then you're not doing your job and because you're not doing a job hey think about it this way okay you get paid too uh, what do you get paid money no not, not money but you know what what do you have is when you are working for the court you get paid, and the pay is like um, your powers, right? Okay, so you get higher up, you get more magic power, you get more power, okay? Well, with the more power, you can handle tougher situations. And that also means that um, like the tougher or, or more deadly evil magic or sorcery or even evil spirits and things cannot harm you, right? So yeah, if like let's say in your life you used to have these evil things bugging you and trying to like mess around with you once you get to that stage 
uh, working for the court, you will see like immediately all those things back off because your power grows. You have armies at your altar and they protect you. But hey, think about it this way. If you're in the court working for like two years already and you haven't been doing your job, well, JD Empire is like, well, you're not doing your job anyway. Let me take things back. <laughs> and immediately it's like your power, your army, everything just reduce. Well, enjoy the crap. Right? Enjoy the problem. They are going to mess around with you again because now you're weaker. <laughs> right? Cherish what you got. Right? You got the the power, the support, you know, all that protection. Well, because you're given a chance to work for the court, not because it's a free thing for you. Okay, so getting up to that level to like be a member of the court is easy. You know, just sign you up is easy. But actually doing the job, it takes a lot of time and commitment. You know, you need to actually do it. Your heart needs to be there trying to like help the, the lineage and help the people below, you know, like that. A lot of people do not do well in that and it's not easy. So that's why the Jade Empire is such an important role. Um, he deal with the whole system up there, right? So he can fire people. You know, like, <laughs> think about it this way. He can fire you if you are like, okay, you became a member of the court. And then for like two, three years, you haven't been doing your job. You know, you haven't really have the heart to like really work for the court. Well, he can fire you. Once he fired you, what happened? Well, he's not going to like come to you and say, hey, you're fired, right? He's a god. He don't come to you. But what happened is once he put that like that order on you and say you're fired, right? then you will feel something's changing. First of all, your power is stripped and you will realize that. But soon, you know what? It will turn into like um, like the whole magic that he, he have done is going to manifest. So it's going to like go from this energy form, go into you and it will create the reality. So what happened is, well, he fired you, right? So soon what happened is you will also want to quit. You will like ditch the whole talus cultivation thing and I just don't want to do it, you know, and immediately like one day just you just want to quit. And that happened to some disciples. I've seen it <laughs> like they got fired and well, I try to save them and they will still quit. You can't really save these people because the God don't want them. And then they will be like, oh, I, I, I don't feel like, you know, the feeling, right? I don't feel like going on. I don't feel like doing this anymore. Yeah, because the God don't want you. That's why. When the God wants you, the God will still like give you that support and you will feel the attachment. You will feel you want to stay. You will feel you want to go on because the God still wants you. Hey, you know what? The God kick people's ass too, you know? Like, don't think about the God like they're always loving, loving, loving. No, 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 okay? If you want to be an asshole, you know, the God will kick your butt. And once the God kick your butt, it's not like they will kill you right away. It's just that they will push you away. Just like you have pushed the God away, the God will push you away as well. And when that happens, when the God try to, like, uh, uh, like make you know that hey you know what you're fired you know the god just push their energy into you and make you do what the god want you to do so the god don't want you here the one god want to fire you you know their energy goes into you you want to quit that and then you will quit you will do the stuff to like withdraw yourself and that's not like something rare i have seen a lot of examples like that because people just you know once they got to that level and they cannot um, do what they're supposed to do Like their heart failed them Well, it's like you have been giving a chance But you gave up You know, you didn't commit And you didn't do what you're supposed to do You don't listen to the teachings Then the God will kick you out So there are like a lot of people Who like stay at the newbie stage And they don't get kicked out Because you're still a civilian And it's kind of safe, right? But at the same time You don't go up much Like you, you don't grow much but once you grow up and like, you know, get more power and start working with a court, you know, you touch the higher power. Well, there's also a risk of getting fired because more is required from you. And it's like, yeah, you play a game, you know, you stay at the baby level 
easy, right? Once you get higher and higher, more people withdraw. Same thing everywhere in, in this world. And that's how the celestial court works. So anyway, the Jade Empire um, is very important. Now remember to uh, check out the website for those prayers book and so on and connect with him and build a good relationship. So in case you effed up in your journey, you can still be like given a second chance and that's very important. Okay, at least you don't get kicked right away. Right? So anyway, my timer is up. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.